It took 13.8 billion years of cosmic history for the first human beings to arise, and we did so relatively recently, just 300,000 years ago. 99.99% .99 of the time that has passed since the universe even began had no human beings at all. But man oh man, have we made some shocking finds since we got here. For being in existence for such a relatively short amount of time, we've done a pretty fab job discovering stuff. And there's more where that came from. 15 strangest discoveries found on Earth. Nature's toughest material. Scientists recently found the toughest material ever made naturally. The spider's wheel-shaped orb webs could range up to 30 square feet in size, some of the largest in nature, and dangle over streams, rivers, and small lakes up to 82 feet across. Spider silks were already the toughest known biomaterials, able to absorb massive amounts of energy before breaking. However, researchers have now revealed that Darwin's bark spider has the toughest silk ever seen, more than twice as tough as any previously described silk, and more than 10 times stronger than Kevlar. These giant webs allow the spiders to snare unsuspecting mayflies, damselflies, bees, and dragonflies flying over the water. The researchers collected a few adult female Darwin spark spiders, raised them in greenhouses, and studied the silk 24 hours after it was spun. Silk strands were fastened to hooks in equipment that slowly pulled the fibers apart, and the scientists measured how much stress the strands could take before breaking. The key to the extraordinary toughness seems to be its elasticity. The silk is twice as elastic as that of other orb web weaving spider silk. Fasten your seatbelts because it's time for today's sweet topic. Researcher discovers what no one was supposed to see, a pair of titano boas taking on an excavator. The reason no one was supposed to see this is because these long extinct titan boas went extinct a long, long time ago. So what are they doing here? The terrifyingly large snake that once lived in modern-day Colombia, Titanoboa measured up to 50 feet long and weighed up to 2,500 pounds. Deep in a South American jungle, the huge snake once stalked its prey. The prey didn't even hear the giant snake coming amid the cacophony of the prehistoric jungle 60 million years ago. No animal had a chance against the biggest snake in history. So what's the excavator really going to do in this situation? Titanoboa, the enormous serpent of the legend, thrived some five million years after the extinction of the dinosaurs. The death of the giant reptiles left a vacuum at the top of the food chain, and Titanoboa gladly stepped up. This prehistoric species grew up to be as long as a semi-trailer you see on highways and about twice as heavy as a polar bear. At its thickest point, Titanoboa was three feet wide, which is longer than a human arm. So, if you're behind the wheel of this excavator, do you abandon ship or use the machine to make quick work of these sizable serpents? Comment below using hashtag sweet topic. Celtic Cross Forest. This strange emblem has been growing in secret for quite some time, and this 328-foot-long religious symbol has been baffling passengers flying into Derry Airport in Northern Ireland. The tree cross can be seen from the sky and became an attraction for those flying in and out of the airport with many people wanting to know who planted it and why it was there. The mystery of a Celtic cross, which appeared in a forest near the UK's border with Ireland, has been solved. It's been revealed that the cross was planted by Liam Emery many years ago. However, Mr. Emery died and never lived to see his work in all its glory and his wife had forgotten all about it. His wife Norma told the press he just loved things to be perfect and I think the Celtic cross is perfect for him. Mr. Mr. Emery created the cross using two different trees and the plantation took enormous planning. It's not just cutting patterns in your back lawn, this is sizable horticultural engineering. He gave the gift to the rest of us and we're going to appreciate that for the next 60 to 70 years. What an amazing legacy to leave behind for generations of Irish and visitors to enjoy. Devil's Ear Gold Nugget Cast aside by a sifting machine at a mine in Siberia, an enormous 14.7-pound gold nugget in the shape of a creepy pointy ear almost ended up in a junk pile. Fortunately, the eagle-eyed workers responsible for leveling the pile was able to rescue the golden treasure and dubbed it the Devil's Ear. In addition to its sinister look, the massive nugget was found under a full moon on Friday the 13th, and its weight in kilograms was 6.66, widely recognized as the Devil's 
number, the number of the beast. Mine officials told the press that the sifting machinery, which is calibrated to identify gold, assumed the giant nugget was a valueless rock and kicked it out. This particular nugget is one of the largest to have ever been discovered in the region and the largest in the history of the company. But the miners weren't too concerned about the size of the nugget. They were more obsessed with its shape. They were quick to notice that it had three sizes in the weight and that its shape was similar to a pointy ear. So they've been calling the rock the Devil's Ear, a name that caught on pretty quickly. It's actually quite common for miners to give pet names to gold nuggets. One of the largest rocks ever found in Russia was called the Big Triangle because it was shaped that way. And there's also this belief among miners that go nuggets never reside alone. <laughs> Ancient soup. Archaeologists recently dug up an ancient cooking vessel containing bones and a strange green liquid, the last remains of an ancient broth, as well as another vessel containing an odorless liquid that might once have been wine. Both the soup and wine were locked away in a tomb about 2400 years ago. However tasty the soup might once have been, it doesn't look very appetizing in its present state, as centuries spent inside a bronze pot have turned the soup green. The other liquid was most likely wine, but it's lost most of its distinguishing characteristics over the ensuing years, and we'll only know more once we find out its composition. The soup and wine likely date back to the Warring States period, a time around 475 BC when China was split into seven different states, all vying for domination. The tomb itself probably belonged to either a local landowner or perhaps a low-ranking military officer. Whoever he was, he apparently had a decent appetite, considering he was buried with fresh soup and wine. This is the first ever discovery of bone soup in Chinese archaeological history. However, this is not the oldest pot found with food in it. Five years ago, a 4,000-year-old pot containing noodles was found in 2005. <laughs> Bacteria injection, there are so many beauty options, creams, serums, fillers, oils, and other products that claim they can stop or reverse the signs of aging. While those claims might not exactly stack up and prevent people from looking older, could this be a new treatment that could well and truly be the fountain of youth? Ancient bacteria injection, a performer named Manosh, appeared on TV to talk about the injections that she's been receiving to make her look younger. But inside these injections isn't a special concoction of chemicals, it's a three and a half million year old bacterium that was discovered in permafrost in Russia. It was first discovered by a geocryologist in 2009 who found it was alive within the permafrost. He theorized that if he can thrive in such extreme conditions, then surely we can extract those properties and use it for humans. And the actress is convinced that this bacteria is one of the main ingredients to staying youthful, saying, they found out the bacteria is not aging. It's literally repairing its own DNA. Then they started injecting it into rats and mice and they became young enough enough to have babies again. She admits that her looks aren't 100% down to just injection of the bacteria and has spent over $60,000 on plastic surgery. <laughs> Growing Stones Known in Romania as Trovents, the stones of Romania are a type of sandstone concretion that secretes cement and can at times appear to grow as if alive, consisting of a stone core with an outer shell of sand. After a heavy rain, small forms are said to appear on the rocks leading them to be dubbed the growing stones by locals. These Trovants of Romania are an amazing geological phenomenon, found in a small village named Costesti. These growing rocks were thought to look identical and even move like the slide rocks of Death Valley. The gravitation force, seismic shocks, solution cohesion forces, particularly surface tension, and the adhesion strength between the sand grains and the liquid are believed to be involved in the process. There are many trovants in Romania that are even diversely shaped. As far as the growth of these living stones is concerned, certain stones may gradually get slightly larger as the result of absorbing water. In this case, the accumulations and deposits of minerals cemented by waters rich in calcium carbonate seem to be the reason but it's extremely rare to see this kind of phenomenon. <laughs> Ancient Slides Here the children of the Inca and their descendants played for hundreds of years. It's a glistening diorite rock outcrop in Peru. You'd be hard-pressed to find references in the early writings to this natural hillside playground, which looks like a giant sparkling greenish-white oyster shell, where local children and foreign visitors scamper up the sides to slide down the glass smooth ruts. It's said that the Inca youth amused themselves by coursing through these polished grooves on festival days, so it kind of makes this a 600-year-old amusement park. The well-polished slides are a strange sight among the straight lines of monumental Inca architecture. Three theories have been advanced to 
explain the formation of the Toboggan Slide Glacial, volcanic and structural. Formation by glaciers is unlikely. They also dismiss the idea that the grooves were formed by flowing lava as the hill itself is not made of volcanic rock. That leaves structural. That polishing likely continued for at least the last few centuries thanks to humankind's propensity for sliding down things. <laughs> Mayan city and the stars. They may have lived some 1700 years ago, but the ancient Maya had an incredible knowledge of celestial bodies, which they believed influenced everything from harvest to death. Now, a 15-year-old boy has studied astronomical charts devised by these ancient Mexican people, as well as satellite photos to pinpoint the location of a forgotten Mayan city. Satellite images suggest the lost city could be among the largest built by the ancient civilization, which thrived between 300 and 700 AD. Canadian William Gadori was wondering why the ancient people built their cities far away from rivers and in inhospitable mountains, prompting the teenager to look to the sky for answers because the Mayans worship the stars. He came up with a theory that the Mayans built their cities so they lined up with star constellations. The teenager analyzed 23 Mayan constellations to realize he connected them. The 142 stars corresponded to the position of 177 Mayan cities. Incredibly, the brightest of the stars match up with the largest cities. It was in the 23rd constellation containing three stars that he found two matching cities on the map, suggesting one has not yet been rediscovered. He was able to overlay this on satellite images from Google Earth to find the stars corresponding to the locations of the cities. <laughs> Square Iceberg Aerial footage of an iceberg as flat, square, and smooth as a sheet cake set the internet aflame with rumors of alien visitors and chainsaw-wielding glaciologists. The footage was captured by scientists working with a NASA mission that monitors the way polar regions are responding to climate change. The researchers saw the rectangular berg floating off the coast of northern Antarctica during a survey of the region's polar ice. Despite their usual appearance, tabular icebergs like these are actually completely natural. These flat-topped and angular ice sheets are typically wider than they are deep and can span hundreds of miles across. Icebergs detaching from the edges of these ice shelves are like corners of a sheet of office paper getting cut with a pair of ocean scissors. Right after the cut, when the iceberg detaches, the edges will often be perfectly square. Though the iceberg in this clip hasn't been measured, it's about one mile across, though like all icebergs, only about 10% of it is visible above the waterline, meaning most of its square-shaped bulk lies underwater. As these tabular bergs float out to sea, any sharp corners are quickly ground down in collisions with other icebergs, or they melt over time. Croatia Alien Triangle Pag Triangle is a land formation in the shape of an irregular quadrilateral located on the Croatian island Pag. A quadrilateral is a fancy word for triangle. It's been made a designated natural landmark. In the years since its discovery, media sensationalism turned it into an urban myth and many claims have been made by over 500,000 visitors. And UFOologists have linked the existence of the formation to a series of UFO sightings in the late 20th century over the island. The Pag Triangle is a peculiar geological formation that forms a perfect isosceles triangle, as though something large left an impression on the ground. The triangle was discovered in 1999 and has remained unchanged ever since. What makes this site even more strange is that the rocks found inside the triangle are vastly different from those found in the surrounding area. The rocks have unique properties and appear to have been superheated at some point. Many visitors have taken rocks as souvenirs or charms due to unsubstantiated claims about their healing powers, which has left the area with holes. Others have repositioned some rocks, creating new formations. <laughs> Ancient Instruments Lithophones like these have been found all over the African continent, in South America, Australia, England, Hawaii, Iceland, India, and everywhere else prehistoric people lived. Not the cultural property of any one group, the rock gong came rather from a universal human insight into the natural sonic properties of stone. The use of such naturally abundant substance has, of course, inspired many a modern musician to quip about lithophone players as the first rockers.
players of the real classic rock, in other words. Generally speaking, a lithophone consists of several stone slabs of varying sizes. To make a sound, you need a set of mallets. As these stones are struck, different tones are produced. Therefore, a lithophone may be considered to be a percussion instrument, and it's often been compared to a xylophone. Researchers have said that they were played between 4,000 and 10,000 years ago. The word lithophone is derived from two Greek words, lithos and phone. The first word can be translated as stone, while the second means sound. Therefore, lithophones like these literally are a sound-making stone. Just imagine the centuries of sweet music our ancestors were making with these. Largest Carved Stone A new search conducted by archaeologists at this ancient stone quarry in Lebanon has revealed the size and weight of an enormous monolith, the largest known stone block ever carved by human hands. It measures 64 feet by 19.6 feet by 18 feet and weighs an estimated 1,650 tons. During the period of Roman rule, this place was known as the City of the Sun and housed one of the largest and grandest sanctuaries in the empire. The gigantic blocks, like this one, were used in the foundations of the temples. How, however, this limestone quarry houses two massive building blocks that never made it to the temple, one weighing about 1,240 tons and the other weighing about 1,000 tons. This one is bigger. How these monoliths were transported and precisely positioned during the temple construction remains a mystery. Some even argue the block was laid by an unknown earlier culture predating even Alexander the Great. The newly uncovered stone block was likely cut to be used in the temple but was probably abandoned. This stone and others never made it out of the quarry probably because they were too massive to transport. This region is known to have been settled from at least 7000 BC. However, some researchers argue that its roots go back as many as 12,000 years. Popcorn Beach Popcorn Beach is a famous beach on the island of Fortaventura in Spain. This magnificent natural site is visited by many curious travelers and is one of the most exciting new secrets of the Canary Islands. It's not your typical beach, as instead of rocks, pebbles, or sand, this beach is actually covered in popcorn. Well, not really, but the small white algae fossils that cover much of the coast look exactly like fluffy popcorn. These marine algae are called rhodoliths, and although initially red in color, they turn white over time. The waves push them ashore, also giving them their unique shape. This natural phenomenon can be observed in other beaches too, but this popcorn beach is one of the most impressive. On social media platforms, people are posting images of handfuls of popcorn, playfully throwing them into the air. Some are even sharing photos of themselves pretending to eat it. The coral varies in size. Some look exactly like popcorn, while others are huge. The corals, which get their irregular shape from the sea and friction, are then dusted with volcanic ash and sand when they reach shore, making them look like popcorn that's been speckled with black pepper. <laughs> Fluffy Bugs the plant hopper nymph. It can look like a snowflake, or some say looks like a walking piece of popcorn. There's a reason for this strange appearance. The insect, which can be found in the Amazon rainforest, is covered with waxy white filaments for protection. It looks like a tiny cloud or a piece of popcorn resting on little insect legs. Plant hoppers, small insects that feed on plants and hop like grasshoppers, are typically disguised as leaves or plants in their adult form, but as immature nymphs, many species take on a much less subtle appearance. They're notorious for sprouting waxy filaments that variously resemble optical fibers and bizarre feathery tendrils. For added flair, the filaments oftentimes protrude from the hind end of the nymphs. They're not simply decorative, however. The filaments aid in concealment as well as gliding. These nymphs also possess a biological gear mechanism at the base of the hind legs, which keeps the legs in synchrony when the insects jump. Insects are the most diverse group of organisms on our planet. There are around 900,000 different kinds that we know of, representing around 80% of the world's species. Species, but this fluffy bug stands out as particularly special. Cows love VR. If you visit this dairy farm near Moscow in Russia, you may think you've arrived at a bizarre futuristic film set. Here, cows supposedly roam around fitted with virtual reality headsets. The VR goggles aren't props for a film, however. They've been specially made for these dairy cows to help them relax in order to produce more milk. As many sources reported, the pressing issue of declining milk production led experts from the IT world, as well as industry leaders in milk production, to work together to find a high-tech solution. That's 
solution was virtual reality, where cows can watch a unique summer field simulation program. In order to develop the simulation, researchers considered what contributed to a positive emotional state for cows. They looked at examples of dairy farms around the world and concluded that a calm atmosphere resulted in more milk production. These VR goggles themselves were carefully designed by developers alongside veterinarians. Taking into account the structural features of the cow's heads, the typically human-fitting VR goggles were adapted to work for cows. After wearing the headsets, the cows displayed a decrease in anxiety and an increase in the general mood of the herd. Today, the farm ranks within the top three largest milk producers in Russia. What a wonderful world we live in, and it seems there's no end to the discoveries on our fabulous planet. Where would we be without unforgettable videos like these? So, like and subscribe since you agree.